the project for today is these uh, packing glands for the uh, one and a half horsepower McCormick Deering made by International Harvester with a throttle governor uh, flywheel engine. And this right here is the uh, that's the packing gland that goes in the fuel pump. Goes right there. And this is the only good one that I have. I got several that is broken and damaged. This one uh, being a, made out of brass, someone has made that, which would be the right size. But it's got a crack in it, so it's not serviceable. I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make four of this type. And then the the different kind of spring, the different model fuel pump, I'm going to make two of this type packing gland. And I was a cutting this. Uh, this right here is, uh, that's that 6061 aluminum. 7 eighths is the, the bar stock that I had it over there in the workbench. And I was a cutting these off uh, each long cutting them just where I could work with them in the lathe here and uh, I noticed that it was a pretty decent I think you know that's a real good cut on that there on that there Harbor Freight 4x6 band saw y'all remember it and I put a couple of them there on the, the square and oh they're just uh, there's no no clearance in there whatsoever and uh, with the blade that's in that saw, and, and I don't own no stock in that company, uh, believe me, it's just a good band saw, that's all. I, I have probably made, uh, well, I've been putting a mark on the wall over there every time I've cut something with that saw. And, 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 and I'm not going to go over there and count them, but I think there's probably, uh, it's at least 300 cuts. Everything from a four by four piece of uh, tubing, uh, two by two quarter inch wall, one inch square stock, you know, eighth inch. It don't matter what size it is. I make a cut. I put a mark on the wall with the same block. Okay, and 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 I was looking at that, just marveling. And when what I did, I took. I was taking the the file and go around there and knock that little burr off there so it would fit in the. So it would fit in yonder right. And, and I think, you know, I ought to check that and just see how wh how, how many thousand, how good it is. So all of them are equally, equally as good. Uh, just, uh, oh yeah, okay. And I'll show you. The, uh, and, and this, this lathe right here, like I say, this is one of the first models that, that was, uh, early model. And, um. And I have made a, a <laughs> all hundreds of hundreds of items on this lathe, but just put it right in there, tighten it up just slightly, just enough to get us a test. And you see that I got the indicator. This one is a one thousandths one, and uh, I've got the indicator in in the tool post holder there. So just and it's straight to the stock right there. And let's just see uh, how many thousandths clearance we got. Just traverse the table right down through there to get us a little tension on the on the indicator. Okay, it's on zero. Now rotate this right here by hand. Oh, that's no more than. I I'm going to get us a close up on that. Like I say, this that's that four by six L cheap old bandsaw that cut this cut these pieces of, of aluminum. And and like I say, I've made hundreds of cut. And I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to reposition and get us a close up right here on this right here, and y'all can see what I'm looking at. It's no more than uh, oh, it's let's let's say that's two on that side of the zero, and then it's like one and a half, three and a half thousandths. You know what I mean? You could sell that three and a half thousandths. 
you know, mark it, sold them, get it out the door. I'm going to get a close-up. And I would think this, uh, I would think this measurement here would be a uh, complement to the uh, shear line lathe also because just it kind of gives the indication of the trueness of the chuck. But I'm going to turn that. Y'all just watch that right there. Okay. Yeah, that's about, what, two thousandths on that side of that zero. And that's about one and a half on that side. Uh, if I'm not right, uh, just leave it, leave it, leave a comment down there, whatever y'all think that is. And, I, and all I'm doing is rotating the chuck slowly with my hand. That's all I'm doing. And you can see that right there is, uh, I'm going to call it three and a half thousandths, uh, could be less. Okay, now let's get on with the project. Before we start anything, we have to have a blueprint. And just kind of looking at it and doing a little measuring, I discovered that the uh, the, 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 the taper in the end, Yunner, is uh, 60 degrees. It's 850 thousandths long. The in, inside, Yunner, where the spring sets, is 500 thousandths deep and the wall thickness right there will be this is a sliced in half that will be 60 thousandths and a 60 degree taper here and this measurement right here on the end right here when I when I when I turn that taper in there I will just leave ever such a little flat place right there Oh, maybe 10, 10, 20 thousandths or something. And then whatever that taper comes out, that will dictate how long this little flat place right here is. And that's just for support. So with these with these measurements, let's get on with it. And um, the, the outside diameter of this thing right here is uh, 750 thousandths on the outside. And the stock that I got here in the lathe, as shipped, was was 883 thousandths. So I need to remove 133 thousandths off of the outside diameter of this. And uh, to to not waste any material, I cut it to length, pretty much. And I have confidence in this lathe right here this chuck, the whole apparatus as a whole, I have confidence that I can turn half of this and turn this around and chuck it up the other way and turn the other half out here and it be within less, it be kind of like a half a thousandths or less mismatch. Oh, it, you, you can't hardly see the dividing line. But with that said, let's set all of these aside. This right here is going to be our example. This is the one where that's our example and our extra stock. And the way the, the, the way that I discovered that uh, taper in there is this thread, uh, this little thread thing right here. Everybody's got one of them, and that's 60 degrees right there. And if you put it right in yonder, it's perfect fit. If I had a uh, center drill big enough yonder, I could have done it over on the other lathe and just run a center drill in there, and that would have been uh, sufficient. But uh, but uh, I don't have a big enough center drill for that. So I am just going to turn a taper here on this one. Let's get that done. And I just got a bit in there, just something out of the box over there that uh, I think it'll cut okay. So let's make our first cut. Mm -hmm. 